guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another prison hack for you. And the best part about this hack is that Adam didn't send it. We had one of our members send it and she was so cute. She was like, you should send it to your hubby. Okay, first of all, before I start, this is to the person who left a comment today and was like, you talked for three minutes, WTF. It would have been a good video, but the first three minutes, you were just babbling, WTF. I just repeated myself. I hate videos like this, bye. And I wrote back, well, I wrote, and then they wrote something else in like three letters that I didn't know what they stood for. So I had to Google and it was something like really rude and I can't repeat it. And so I wrote back, like, I really appreciate constructive criticism. However, rudeness will always be just rude. Bye. Anyway, so I'm saying that because my lighting is awful and I, I couldn't bring my light down here because we have to do this video in my kitchen. So I just figured I'd stand in front of the glare. And now I talked for what? Almost a minute. So if the person for some reason didn't leave, this is for you, me and my babbling. For all of you guys who know and love me, um, you know I babble. But anyway, I do understand that and I really do appreciate constructive criticism um, and constructive feedback if presented in the right way. Anyway, so we got this amazing hack. I thought it was great um, and I will pass it along to my husband. So what happened was this woman's husband hurt himself and um, you couldn't get medical care and I should have probably looked at the post before I actually started making this video so I knew the exact facts always. All wait. I put food in my mouth while I was waiting for them to leave the message. So commercial break over. Okay. So what she said was her husband was in pain and she really wanted to help him because the facility, of course, would not help him. You know how medical care is in prison and if you're new here, medical care in prison frankly sucks. So she said she was thinking and thinking and thinking and she thought back to when she was younger and she used to get in a lot of pain when she, she would get cramps every month. So what her mother would do is she would take a pillowcase, she would fill the pillowcase with rice, pop it in the microwave, that's why we're in my kitchen today, and then she would make um, like a homemade heating pad out of it and she said it always soothed her, it always helped and it always worked. So she started thinking and she goes, what does he have access to in there? Well, he has access to gym socks, these are not gym socks, but they're going to work. These are socks because I, my socks are no show, so they wouldn't be big enough. So, you know, socks. He has access to rice out of the commissary or the kitchen. And, um, of course, they have access to microwaves because that's the only way that they can cook. So I'm looking through my cabinets and I was going to do this with you. And I found rice a -roni. Why I found rice a I have no freaking idea. First of all, somebody tell me what's wrong with this picture. Your girl's vegan. She don't eat chicken. Second of all, she doesn't eat out of a box. I have no idea why this is in the house. So I might use it just so I could throw the rice away afterwards because I could not, I always have rice in my house, like some sort of wild rice and I ran out. And then, um, and I cook for my mom and so she's been on pain medication from being sick so she doesn't eat a lot of rice because it's binding anyway. And I found quinoa and I was like, we can do quinoa, but I think we're gonna do the rice roni. Oh look, and the rice roni is open. And let's check, let's just for kicks and giggles, let's see when this expires. This might be the perfect one to use. Can I show you guys on camera? December 31st, 2016. Go mom. Go mom with the big bad rice turning. Okay, so this is perfect because then I could throw it right away once it's in my sock. So anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sock Maybe they can get rice roni on the commissary. Who knows? You're going to take your chicken packet and you're going to throw it in the garbage. You're going to take your rice and you're going to pour it into your gym sock. Got a good amount of rice down there, right? You're going to, should I put more in there? Sure, because we're going to throw it right in the garbage, 2016 rice. I'm shocked there aren't, the other day I went to go get flour out. I don't use flour, but I was cooking for Thanksgiving and there were bugs in the flour. Like, mom, mom, we got to talk about cleaning out your cabinets. I love you, mom. We got to talk about cleaning out your cabinets and your pantry and the fact that you won't throw anything away. And I'm shocked. This is probably why I have the best immune system in the world is because my mother served us rice and roni from expired two and a half years ago. And um, things with mold on them, they would just like cut around the mold. You know, if you're poor growing up, this is what happens. And I guess it builds up your immunity because I have a rock solid immune system. 
Yes, I'm babbling, but I am trying to pour rice into the sock because it needs to go in the garbage anyway. Okay, so now we have a really good amount of rice in our makeshift gym sock. I'm gonna tie it off. I'm sure they would do the same thing, right? You're gonna tie it off so you don't get rice all in the microwave. So here is your fake heating pad. This is such a great idea. I wish I remembered who said this because I would give her credit because this is so cool. I apologize. These socks are so old. They're like, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna put this in the microwave. Let's start in a minute. Mind you guys, I use the microwave for nothing else. I do not like to microwave my food. Um, we're going to throw away the two-year-old expired rice roni, which only adds character to this video. I don't put food in the microwave because it's literally just a sock sitting in there. I didn't put it on something because, you know, I'm classy. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I'm going to be careful taking it out because I don't know how... Ooh, it's nice and warm. This is going to work. kind of smells good, too. Um... And so you're just going to, she would put it on her stomach for her cramps, put it, he's going to put it on his back. You know what? I have a bad shoulder going on right now. That's why I'm home at 4.40 in the afternoon and not at the gym at my normal time. But this, you guys, feels amazing. I'm going to save the rice in here and I'm going to reheat this up when my mom comes home. And we're going to put this on her back because you guys know she has cancer all throughout her bones and her back and she is in tremendous pain all the time. This feels amazing. So two thumbs up uh, to the sister who gave us this prison hack. I'm going to send this over to Adam. I'm going to see if he'd ever heard about it before, but he has a bum hip right now. He's got a lot going on with his sciatic nerve. Um, and Adam uses working out like it's, it's his therapy, like a lot of guys do on the inside. And I could totally relate because I use working out like it's my therapy. So he refuses to rest it. I'm going to tell him this trick and have him use this on his lower back and sciatica. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys have other hacks that you want to know, or I mean that you want to share and want me to post on a video, let me know. This was so fun and exciting. And the girls are loving, you guys are all loving when I'm doing these hacks. Plus, when I don't know what I'm doing or I find two-year-old expired rice roni in my pantry, it's fun and entertaining for you guys. But um, you do that. Also, if you try it, let us know how it goes. And I have a couple more coming from Adam, too. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being behind you. Lots and lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you gorgeous, beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye. This feels so freaking good, you guys, on my bad shoulder. Oh, I'm so obsessed. Two thumbs up.